You are the fire. Today on Trisha. He was making porno films behind his wife's back. Did you know Terrell was making adult movies? I went on her Facebook, clicked on it, and that's when I seen that they had done some videos, some scenes together. Then his wife found out his co-star was pregnant. We started to get together outside of work because he told me he was single. And his co-star found out he was married. When I asked you, did she know you was dating me? Because whenever she we was on the phone... We were not dating. Me. It was sex. How did these three try to solve the problem? I'm bisexual, so it just went to a threesome. <laughs> he found somebody new, and now he denies the little boy he used to call son. I catch him looking out the window. Mommy, where my daddy? Mommy, my daddy don't call me. Mommy, my daddy don't come see me. It don't he don't even look nothing like me. Look at that picture, kid. man. What do you think's going on? When he was a couple weeks, and I was like, I want this DNA done. No, you did not. I want this DNA done. Did his new girlfriend convince him to ignore his own child? You just mad! You just mad! You just mad! Do you think that Jalen is Jerome's son? No, I don't. Do you have any doubts about whether uh, Brittany is a good mom or not? No, she's not a good mom. Oh. Or did he leave because his ex made her baby with another man? Open it, honey. Open it. It's all today on Trisha. Welcome, Ebony. Ebony is here to prove to this man, Terrell, that he is the father of her two-month-old daughter, Aubrey. <laughs> you see, Ebony claims Terrell... Yeah, uh, they're all in love with her. Let me tell you what's going on. Ebony claims Terrell took advantage of her at a very vulnerable point in her life. And little did she know that Terrell was actually a married man leading a double life. Yeah, complete with a pregnant wife named Veronica and two kids. Take a look at how Ebony got mixed up in this dramatic DNA ordeal. For most of Ebony's young life, she's been searching for love, growing up in an unstable environment and bouncing from home to home. At the age of 19, she found herself in front of cameras about to make her first adult film. I met my ex-boyfriend, Terrell, while we were making a movie for the adult industry. I've only done one porno, and that was with Terrell. We started to get together outside of work because he told me he was single. He made me feel special and loved. After we met, I didn't want to do porn anymore. I just wanted to focus on us. But Ebony's dream of a fairy tale ending with Terrell quickly came to an abrupt stop. My world got turned upside down when I found out I was pregnant. I was so excited to tell Terrell the news that I was pregnant, but that's when he told me his wife was pregnant too. When I was eight months pregnant, I got kicked out of my house and I needed a place to stay. Terrell and his wife, Veronica, moved me into their home. But when the baby was born, Terrell signed a birth certificate and Veronica kicked me out. I was devastated and I was hurt and I couldn't believe it was happening. Terrell's wife, Veronica, is the only reason why he denies Aubrey. But today is the day that he's gonna step up and be Aubrey's father. Well, Terrell is backstage with his wife, Veronica, who Ebony says is the main reason why Terrell is denying her child and we'll meet her a little later. But first, so, Ebony, you do a, a, an adult movie, a, a pornographic movie. Have you ever done anything like this before? I mean, well, how did you get into this? Actually, a guy uh, contacted me on Twitter. He liked the way I look, and he felt like I fit the description, so he ended up giving me his number, his email. And... But you'd never done one before? No. So what, you did the sex scenes with Terrell? Yes. What, what just one scene? Um, it started off with one scene, but then he kept saying he didn't like the way it looked, so we... Who said went... this? Terrell, so he oh. went back and did multiple scenes. <laughs> After that, it was like, you know, we started hanging out with each other and we, you know, he was my boyfriend. Did he say he was single? He didn't tell me that he was with anybody. When did he give you the next little bit of information? An old friend of mine was questioning him and was asking him who he stayed with, and he was like, oh, I live with my baby mom. And so then, you know, I was like, what? And <laughs> he said, well, you know, we stay together, but we're not together. She has her own relationship, and, you know, I'm allowed to have my own relationship. Then when do you find out that it's not just a baby mama with her life and him with his life, it's something more? In April, when I found out I was pregnant, um, I also found out she was pregnant. 
at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now, are you positive that your little girl is his baby? I'm 100% positive. When I was sleeping with Terrell, I wasn't sleeping with anybody else. So why do you think he's doubting her? For the simple fact that we did meet in an adult industry and, you know, my baby have blue eyes and her hair is brown, so... Yeah. You know, he's like, I don't have none of those features, so she might not be mine. So, uh, this is a bit of the story I don't understand. You ended up moving in with Terrell and Veronica. Mm -hmm. How is that? He actually texted me, he was like, you know, um, Veronica wants to meet you. Of course, I'm bisexual, so... <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, yeah. So, um, that night, it just went to a threesome. After that weekend, like I, like, I would come every weekend. After about the second or third weekend, Veronica, she was like, you know, well, you can stay here for a while. So basically, I moved in. But she, she kicked you out in the end. Why was that? Um, I'm guessing because she felt like, you know, me and Terrell was getting too close. But you were all having sex together? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a relationship with Terrell? After this, no. When you say, what, after him denying your baby? Mm. Okay. So, what, how are you currently getting on with Terrell? You got anything? He still texts me, he still calls me, you know, he still texts me, I love you, I miss you, baby this, baby that, you know? And what do you want if he is the father? Even if he is the father, I don't want nothing to do with him. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, as you know, Terrell's wife, Veronica, is here and she has a lot to say. But before we meet her, let's hear how she and Terrell describe their situation. Ebony and I met a year ago while shooting a scene for the adult film industry. I didn't know he was making adult movies at that time, but my female intuition told me he was definitely up to something. Ebony didn't mean anything to me. She was just a side relationship I was involved in. A few months into it, she told me she was pregnant and I knew her having this baby would cause problems between my wife and I. I felt hurt and betrayed by him, but I decided to be the bigger person, humble myself down, and meet this other woman. Ebony was eight months pregnant, and she had nowhere to live. When the baby was born, I signed the birth certificate. The entire time Ebony was pregnant, she made me believe that I was the father. I believe the only reason she kept that baby was to keep my husband around. Ebony took advantage of the situation and took my kindness for weakness, so I kicked her ass out. I have serious doubts this baby is mine. Look at how we met. We were doing porn together. You cannot tell me I was the only guy she had sex with. If this baby is not mine, I want Ebony to get the hell out of my life. Well, let's meet Veronica. You was a lying bitch, you know that? You was a lying little whore. Don't sing it. Don't even sing it. Don't even sing First of all, let me tell you, before you were trying to get that video, you can't even tell me you do nothing. You wasn't, how do you know? You wasn't even there. You, you wasn't even there. And you said you didn't know you was doing adult know, videos? If I did not know, you trying to sit here and say that the video didn't go viral and stuff like that? If I did not know, how can I buy it? How can I buy it if I and did not know? that video with who? That video was with Terrell, now wasn't Correct. it? Correct. You okay. said it, it was never with Terrell. Terrell. You said never but hit. The, the Nobody DVD can see. He was doing... Did you want to be... Hey, 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 just a minute. Hang on, just a minute. Have a seat, Veronica. Did you know Terrell was making adult movies? I went on her Facebook, seen she had a link to somewhere else. Clicked on it. And that's when I seen that they had did some videos, some scenes together. So what, you, you clicked on it and you saw your husband having sex with her? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and how did, you find out, how did you find out that Ebony was pregnant? Uh, Terrell came home one day and he was like, hey, I got something to tell you, sit down. You know, she's pregnant. And you know, this whole time she knew about me because she, was, she came no, and told no, me. No, no, I did not know about you. I didn't you know You didn't come and tell you. me and say, Terrell always told me if this number calls, don't answer. He was pregnant. Excuse me, you're both arguing over somebody who is basically seems to be a bit of a liar, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you. That's understandable, that's understandable. But me being a woman, and that's my husband, I'm gonna stick behind him 24 7. So you're gonna have no female take my place. Just, and just, a minute. Oh, 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 just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Veronica, I was never trying to take your place. You're right, because you can't never be me. You shared your bed with her and him, didn't you? You're right, I had mm -hmm. a little fun. I like sex, I'm a female. Right. I like to have fun. So you got. You got a woman in your house, you're worried about separating, but getting between you and your husband. Mm -hmm. So you think, oh, I know, I'll get her between me and my husband in bed. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that? What is that? I don't, you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, let's come to the baby. Do you think that Aubrey is Terrell's? I don't. If she could go ahead and have sex with my husband with no protection, who's to say she's not doing what anybody else? Now, how will you react?
react if he is the father of this baby? What are you going to do then? If he is the father of this baby, we're going to take care of the baby just as we've been doing. He does we? what he do. What if he's not the dad? Oh, if he's not the dad, <laughs> this bitch got to go. She got to go. <laughs> so, we wanted to give Terrell uh, an opportunity to prove to his wife that his relationship with Ebony was over, so we offered him a lie detector test. He refused. Oh. Our producers asked Ebony if she wanted to take a lie detector test, and she happily agreed. <laughs> We'll meet Terrell and reveal both lie detector and DNA results. Back in a minute. Up next. You knew about Veronica way before she was pregnant, way before anything. Bro, let me you finish. Need to stop Shut lying. up, First let me finish. No, you, Shut up, let me you finish. need to stop lying. I did not know about her. And later, he found somebody new. And now he denies the little boy he used to call son. When he was a couple weeks, and I was like, I want this DNA done. No, you did not. I want this DNA done. I put this on my father. I'm not going to lie. Oh, your father, you did not say that. Oh, your father, man. In denial. You don't even look nothing like me. Look at that picture, here. man. Today on Trisha. We're back with Ebony, who says that when she fell, did you fall in love with Terrell? I can admit I did. Yeah. And did he ever tell you he loved you? All the time. Okay. But you're saying you've always said you had no idea that Terrell was a married man with how many children? Three. Three children. Mm -hmm. And married to this woman, Veronica. Well, to make matters worse, both Ebony and Veronica were pregnant at the same time. Well, now Terrell is denying that he is the father of Ebony's beautiful two-month-old baby girl, Aubrey. Well, here's the man. We've we got to hear from him himself, the man in the middle. Please welcome Terrell. First of all, first Good. of all, let's clear the air here. OK, because number one... First of all, I never deny Aubrey, ever. Been there since she was born, signed a birth certificate, still take care of to this day. Do things that you can't do. Okay, I'm a father to that child, just like my other three kids. Secondly, you knew about Veronica. Way before she was pregnant, way before anything. Bro, let me you finish. Need to stop shut lying. up, First let me finish. No, you shut, shut up, up. Let me you finish. need to stop First lying. Of all, I did not know about her. When I asked you, did she know you was dating me? Because whenever she we was calling your phone, we were not dating. Dating. It was sex. 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 But you know about me. We were not dating. She you call your we were not dating. You were like, all the reason why she's calling you because she don't want you to be with another woman, even though it's okay with you that she's with another man. So you're you're making an adult movie. Yes. Why would you make an adult movie and not use a condom? I mean, okay, that's something I did, obviously, a mistake that I made or whatnot. No, and but I, why? I, why, why, take, why did you? Why? I mean, at the time... She turned you on. I'm sorry? She turned you on. I mean, yeah, of course. I'm not going to deny yeah, that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she, she was sexy. Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. So you met up afterwards. Yeah, after the movie, you know, we started hooking up or whatnot. For how long? What, a weekend? weekend. A weekend thing, you know, ongoing for like a month. What you know, did you tell I, Veronica? Yeah, I mean, she didn't know about it at the time. You must have been lying to her. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're looking at home, looking after the kids. Yeah, pretty much. Then she comes, Ebony comes and says she's pregnant. Yes. Yeah. I found out Ebony was pregnant after you know, I found out my wife was pregnant. Do, we, do you have any doubts about you being the dad? Well, there is that possibility that it might not be. Because of the fact that the way we met, the way we met, we're doing porn, mm. you know, I mean... That was not the first scene she did. She did a scene prior to me, prior to meeting me. Because that was the demo that I, I saw. That My people emailed me a demo that she did right before her and I met. It you know was. why? Because we were supposed to meet that night, but I couldn't make it. So you end up doing a scene with somebody else, right or wrong? Before they make you do a movie, or actual movie, they make you do something called a uh, pre-shoot, basically. So that's what that was. So why would you say okay, you never did it? You just said you didn't do it. You said mine was the first thing you did. So hang on, just a minute. The only one I did it I'm trying to understand. So, so get that so, right. So she, you think that if she did, if she had unprotected sex with you, how many other guys did she have unprotected sex? Is that, is that right? Correct. Right. 
So when Ebony had that baby, why uh, did you sign a birth certificate? I signed it because, like I told you, I felt like I'm her father. I've right. been there, you know... I know my involved with her. I'm not going to deny that. Of course, we had sex unprotected. But what about it's... now? You still got a relationship going on? Anything going on? You not did not. Um, the Monday after his birthday, yeah. How yeah, long we had sex Monday after my birthday well, wait, that my wait, wife knows about. Yes, how long yes, we had birthday? sex Monday after February, my birthday February. that my wife knows about. So, you recently had sex with um, Ebony. Yes. Right. Uh, and you didn't tell your wife about it. No, I didn't tell my wife. So about you it. must have lied to cover your tracks again. She found out. Oh, I do have more okay. So, Terrell, I'm guessing that's why you didn't want to take the lie detector test. No, that's not the reason why. What this? All right. Well, as you recall, Ebony agreed uh -huh. to take a lie detector test, and with okay. the help of our polygraph expert Tim Acosta here in our audience, it is time to reveal the results. <laughs> we asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with Terrell last week? You said yes. Tim. Coming up. Has he been making babies at home and on camera? Let's come to the DNA test result. Terrell, you... <laughs> Up next, did his new girlfriend convince him to ignore his own child? Yeah. You just met! You just met! You just met! Do you think that Jalen is Jerome's son? No, I don't. <laughs> You're off my stage! Daddy's in denial. You don't even look nothing like me. Look at that nice picture, man. Today on Trisha. Welcome, Brittany. Brittany says her ex-boyfriend, Jerome, was a great dad until they broke up and he began dating this woman, Cornetta. Oh. Whoa, as you can see, oh. that's when he began denying her three-year-old son, Jalen. Oh. And I just got to tell you, he has charmed my staff. He's a gorgeous <laughs> kid. Thank now, you. Brittany is convinced that Cornetta is manipulating Jerome yes. and filling his head with doubts, but... Jerome claims he never believed he was the father. <laughs> and get this, he says baby Jalen is too light-skinned to be his. <laughs> Me, so let's I'm listen to what Brittany has to say about this DNA disaster. I was in a relationship with my ex-boyfriend Jerome for four years. He was the perfect boyfriend. I thought I was going to be with him forever. A year into our relationship, I get pregnant. Jerome was so happy, he went to every doctor's appointment. He was the first one to hold Jalen. Now that Jalen's three, he gonna say he's not his son. And this is all because his girlfriend, Quinetta, said so. Jerome said Jalen is too light-skinned to be his. Jerome called my son stupid bastards and tell him to go find his daddy. Jalen used to cry looking out the window waiting for his daddy. He asked me all the time, where's my daddy, mommy? Why won't he come see me? This is killing our son inside. Jerome does not deserve to be called a dad because he does not take care of his responsibilities. And his girlfriend, Quinetta, needs to mind her damn business. I know Jerome is Jalen's dad, and I can't wait to shove these results in his face. Wow. You might not be surprised to hear we gave Jerome and Jalen a DNA test, yeah. and we'll get to those results later. But first, Brittany, what, why do you think the sudden denying's are going on? What's happening? Um, the denial started, like, since we broke up. It didn't start right away. He was with multiple women after me and him split or whatever. So when he was with the girls or whatever, he still came around and seen his son. He still called every day, come get him on the weekend. And all of a sudden, when he started dating her, it kind of died down a little her bit. Her being Quinetta. Yes. He don't call and check on him. He don't see how he was doing, no nothing. My but back, son, back in the day when yeah. you were together, he was a good dad? When we were together, he was there through everything, there through the whole pregnancy, doctor's appointments, the birth. He was the first one to hold my son when my son came out. And, and that was a real... Yes. And that was a really difficult day yes. for him, wasn't difficult. it? Difficult, yes, What happened was. on the same day um, that he... The same day that my son was born, that morning, Jerome, which is Jayla's dad, mm. 
he was burying his father. Oh, Lord. So God. it was kind of like up and down. Like the whole day, the whole night was stressful because everything was happening. Do you think it's Quinnetta? I think it's her, just like I said, because out of the blue, all the denial started. And oh, he too light skinned, but if you look at me, I'm light skinned. Yeah, you're biracial he, yourself? Yes. Yeah. He has my color and my lips, everything else he got from Jerome. Just, just tell me, you said that something that really disturbed, I know, the audience and certainly mm -hmm. me. Did you say that Jerome calls your son names? Yes. To, not he, to his face, though. No, not to his face, like oh, over the phone. Yeah. Oh, like God. recently, we had a conversation and he like, oh, well, tell him to go find his dad. I'm not his dad. You a whore. <laughs> Stuff like that. And like I told him, when the results come back, I want him to apologize to my son for calling him names and doing what he's doing to him. That's it. Like, he don't... Like, he can keep his apology towards me because me and him don't get along. But what, what about so, the little boy? Is he... My son... Because if, if, if Jerome's been in his life so much, yes. so involved, and suddenly he's disappeared, what does he say when Daddy's... My son, like, he just totally just... I don't know. Like, I can't even explain it. Words can't explain it. Like, I'm tired of him crying or looking out the window. Like, I notice every once in a while. I catch him looking out the window. Mommy, where my daddy? Mommy, my daddy don't call me. Mommy, my daddy don't come see me. And I'm the one stuck with answering all the questions. He's a bright kid as well. Yes, he's a real bright kid. Smart. I gotta tell you, he's a bright Jerome kid. Jerome says, yeah. oh, I make my son say stuff to him. My son is very outspoken. Whatever is on his mind is what he says. I have no control over that. My son is going to be four years old. He talks. He know what he feel like. I ask him every day. I say, how you doing? He said, mommy, I love you, but I miss my daddy. Aww. Can I call my daddy? Can I come see my daddy? And like today, we here on the show, Mommy, we finna go see my daddy. I get to oh, see my daddy man, today. That must hurt Every day. So much. And I'm tired. So today when the results come back, and that's his son, he don't have to apologize to me, but he's going to apologize to my yeah. son. Him and her. Yeah. Now, let me ask you. What do you think of Quinetta? I'm almost scared Personally, to ask. Personally, I don't got nothing against her. Only okay. thing I'm saying is that. She need to mind her business, and she need to know what it's like to be a parent. She don't even have no kids. She never come to me and ask oh, me. Oh, she never does that? She never came to me and asked me, oh, you do this, or oh, you do that, or oh, I heard this, or I do that. It's always, you said this, and you said that. Like I said, she don't know me, so and I don't know her. So she never actually sat down. This will be, what, She the, never sat down and had a conversation time, with she's me. actually... Like, I, we seen each other, but it's never, oh, Brittany, well, you this, or you that. Stuff like that. Like, she never come to me as a oh, woman. Oh, well, let's, like give her that, said, let's give her that opportunity. Let's give her that opportunity. Come on out, come out. Quinetta, first off, and I, I want to come to you and find out what your concerns are and what's going on, right? Sure. But first off, because I hear this on the show all the time, it makes me very angry when people come along and say, and oh, if it's, my if it's my child, I'm going to get custody. Like, it's like, you know, all right, so this is on, these are my flowers on this table. Oh, right, now you can have them. We're talking about a human being and a life. Is and it? I know, as a trained... Uh, <laughs> trained in parental studies that right. it takes a kid many, many, many years to get over just being switched from one household to the other. Right. Yeah. So, now, do you think that Jalen is Jerome's son? No, I don't. Why not? <laughs> because look how he look. He don't have no features of him at <laughs> all. <laughs> His hairline way back here. That yeah, was his Look at your face. Look at his smile. Look at your face. Don't have nothing it's that look like okay. Look at me. It's okay. So, so, so you have doubts. Uh, do you have any doubts about whether uh, Brittany is a good mom or not? No, I don't. You don't have any doubts. So she, you, you accept she's a good mom. No, she's not a good mom. Oh, <laughs> let me change her story. Why? Why is she not a good? <laughs> she's mom? not a good mom. She's a hoe. That's what she you said. She has oh, different say. guys around her. Say. Around Jalen constantly. Say. How do you know that? Because it's on it's on Facebook and Instagram. First another off, guy is holding her. First off, another guy is holding her. Guess what? Another guy is holding her. I wish I had my focus. Guess what? The guy uh, she talking about matter. is my boyfriend. Is Jerome in Jalen's life at all? Not no more. He, no. He, Hang he, on. Let me let me just let me just. Not no more. 
Since yeah. she came along. It's not about me coming Since along. Since she came because along. Because before I came along, his family already said, you're not, he's so not the father. If the um, DNA test comes back and says that this little boy is not Jerome's, then I guess what? What then? We're going to keep it pushing and <laughs> worry about our life that we got together and she ain't going to be a part of it. Okay. Guess what? Guess okay. what? Guess yeah. what? I'm all for that, but guess what? When the when DNA come back and that's his son, both of y'all gonna kiss my son that? No, I'm not kissing nobody else. I'm not kissing nobody else. I'm not apologizing to nothing. You're nothing. She's irrelevant. We're gonna meet the poor man stuck in between these two. We're gonna meet Jerome. He's a man behind this DNA drama after all. Stay with us. Coming up. When it was a couple weeks and I was like, I want this DNA done. No, you did not. I want this you DNA done. I put no, this on my not. father. I'm not going to lie. On my father, not father it. man. And later. You use two women. Don't you dare allow them to argue. If you were a man, you'd stand up here and you'd <laughs> say. On Trisha. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm with Brittany, who's mother to three year old, a real cutie called Jalen. Um, his dad, you say his dad, Jerome, yes. is denying him. You say because of. Her. <laughs> Which is not true. Her. So you not say he had doubts? He already had doubts before. When, yeah, before his father passed, attention. when she was pregnant, his father was like, I want you to get a Were DNA test. Were you there? Well, let's find out the, from the man who was there, Quinetta. Let's let's actually meet Jerome. Ooh. Come on out, Jerome. Ooh. Hello, man. Hello. Okay. It sounds like you were really close to this little boy at first. Yes, at first, but whose name's we, on the birth certificate? It he was is. my. It was my name. It, was, it is my name. Why? But it was just so much going on at the time. And my my father passed away. I'm sorry. So it's just, it was so much. Yeah. Man, this is my pops. This is my father. Yeah, God, I get now that. I got, now I'm going to the hospital to find out, you know, mm -hmm. okay, John, Jerome, you got to think back of your head. What you going to do? What you going to do? Mm -hmm. I signed it. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. But you were close to the little boy? Yeah, I was time? close to him, but me looking at him weeks, he was like eight months and I'm, eight weeks, and I'm looking at him like, oh, he, he don't even look nothing like me. Look at that picture, he. man. Look at the bitch, he likes me, man. Okay, no, we're gonna no, no, see. Now, no, 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 like no, it's a conversation <laughs> I wanna have. A quiet, a quiet conversation with you at the moment, Jerome. Is it true you call this little boy? No. Yes. You never no. have? Never. Yes. If this test comes back and says you are his dad, then what? What are you gonna I'm do? I'm gonna be a man. 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 But if he not he needs If he not mine, how do you me go? So what do you think's going on? What do you think's going on? But why is all this kicked off? When he was a couple weeks, and I was like, I want this DNA done. No, you did not. I want this you DNA done. I put this on my not. father. I'm not going to lie. Oh, your father, you did not say it. Man. OK. Well, let's I'm find just, out. I'm... Let's find out if he's your son. Shall we find out? Yes. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Yes. 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 So oh. you. Thank you. you. He's the one. Jerome oh. is the one that doubts it. Don't yes. you think you should open it? Let him open it. OK. Hold on, wait a minute. Uh, go ahead. Here, I'll pass you the envelope. Open it, honey. Get on my face. Open it, honey. Open it. Open it. I hope he is, after all. Up next, did his new girlfriend convince him to ignore his own child? Open it. I hope he is. And later. Has he been making babies at home and on camera? Let's come to the DNA test result. Terrell, you... You are the father. You're a fuck school. Daddy's in 
denial. You don't even look nothing like me. Look at that nice picture, man. Today on Trisha. I was in a relationship with my ex-boyfriend, Jerome, for four years. A year into our relationship, I got pregnant. Jerome was so happy, he went to every doctor's appointment. He was the first one to hold Jalen. Now that Jalen's three, he gonna say he's not his son. And this is all because his girlfriend, Quinetta, said so. Jalen used to cry, looking out the window, waiting for his daddy. He asked me all the time, where's my daddy, mommy? Why won't he come see me? This is killing our son inside. Do you think that Jalen is Jerome's son? No, I don't. Why not? <laughs> because look how he look. He don't have no features of him at all. He don't even look nothing like me. Look at that picture, man. This test comes back and says you are his dad. Then what? What are you gonna I'm do? I'm gonna be a man. I'm gonna be a man. I'm a be a man. What are you supposed to do? Uh, let's find out if he's your son. Shall we find out? Yes. Let's find out. Let's find out. Yes. Let's find out. Yes. 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 Thank you. you. He's the one. Jerome oh. is the one that doubts it. Don't yes. you think he should Don't open it? Let him open it. Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Here, I'll pass you the envelope. Open it, honey. Get on my face. Open it, honey. Open it. Open it. I hope he is, after all. You are, that is your son! That's you! Thank you! Thank you! Don't push me! Hey, 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 you mad! 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 Down. If she would be now, in the home, we would down. Know. This is about one man and one child. You say he's not your son. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Uh, oh, just he ladies. Hey, 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 hey. Say, say, you save your excitement. Like now, you listen. Man. Will you be quiet? Oh. Now, come yeah. here. Your partner, your ex partner, Brittany, is biracial. Okay, unless you have a degree in biology. Okay, I looked at these two photos and I have, bi I have biracial children. Okay, so the, the rules you are applying to he doesn't look like me, to me, I see him. I see that going on. You need to look into, if you really are interested, go on the internet, talk about DNA and what have you. This is what happened when this child is part, he's got white genes and that's why he's lighter than you. He has to be lighter than you. Anyone else see that? Just... <laughs> now, what concerns me, you can have a million tests if you like, but that test is never wrong. It's 99.9% .9 right. That little boy, that little boy, let me tell you, our staff have spent some time with that little boy, and they don't usually say that to me. They said, I mean, Christine over there, she said, wow, this kid is bright. He's a smart cookie. Now, he's been sitting around crying, where's my daddy? He, you have, this has already, this has already done him some damage. If you really want to help, you will be there for that child. When you say you're going to be there, you turn up. 90% I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. 100%. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. He, that kid, loves you, but he's hurt. So you are going to, don't buy him things, do things with him. No more, oh, it can't be right, it can't be right. Just make it right, huh? For that little boy, because he's a, he breaks my heart. Yeah, is that a deal? Yeah. He's a cute kid. And uh, we'll be right back after this. Up next, has he been making babies at home and on camera? Let's come to the DNA test result. Terrell, you... <laughs> you used two women. Don't you dare allow them to argue. If you were a man, you'd stand up here and you'd <laughs> take it. in denial. He don't even look nothing like me. Look at that picture, man. Today on Trisha. I met my ex-boyfriend, Terrell, while we were making a movie for the adult industry. I've only done one porno, and that was with Terrell. After we met, I didn't want to do porn anymore. I just wanted to focus on us. My world got turned upside down when I found out I was pregnant. I was so excited to tell Terrell the news that I was pregnant, but that's when he told me his wife was pregnant too. Terrell's wife, Veronica, is the only reason why he denies Aubrey. But today is the day that he's gonna step up and be Aubrey's father. Ebony and I met a year ago while shooting a scene for the adult film industry. A few months into it, she told me she was pregnant, and I knew her having this baby would cause problems between my wife and I. When the baby was born, I signed the birth certificate. The entire time Ebony was pregnant, she made me believe that I was the father. 
I believe the only reason she kept that baby was to keep my husband around. I have serious doubts this baby is mine. Look at how we met. We were doing porn together. You cannot tell me I was the only guy she had sex with. If this baby is not mine, I want Ebony to get the hell out of my life. Well, as you recall, Ebony agreed uh -huh. to take a lie detector test. And with okay. the help of our polygraph expert, Tim Acosta, here in our audience, it is time to reveal the results. <laughs> now... So, the first question we asked you, are you in love with Terrell? Oh, you said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Ebony was being truthful. We asked you, are you trying to break up Veronica and Terrell? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Ebony was not being no, truthful. I, I get that. OK. We asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with Terrell last week? You said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Ebony was being truthful. OK. Yeah, yeah. We asked you, does Terrell send you text messages telling you he loves you? You said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Ebony was being truthful. Oh. In fact, Ebony, I understand you still have some of those text messages that Terrell sent to you, and we took a, a shot of those. Don't you wish I was lying next to you, holding you and keeping you warm? Ebony said, in return, yes, I really do. Here's the next text. February the 2nd. After I <laughs> drop the kids off... Oh, this is from Terrell. After I drop the kids off, that way we can come back here and make up for lo lost times. My... <laughs> my... <laughs> for that sweet... <laughs> oh. <laughs> from Terrell, February the 17th. I love you. From Ebony, February the 17th. Uh, you love you too, babe. Adam From Lopez. Terrell. No, tomorrow... Yeah, Hang on, you've got to hear this one. Tomorrow, I want you to wear something sexy for me when we make love. Oh, oh, I wish I was sexy, right? Terrell, I come back to... Ooh, I wonder why you didn't want to take a lie detector test. Let's come to the DNA test result. Who, who want... Shall I open this? Yeah. Terrell, you are... Oh, boy. <laughs> I've been in that situation with Ben. Mm. I never said I was not 100% not her father. Never okay. said that. All right. Never denied her. You, uh, let me she put herself in a situation. No, what? Just Did a minute. Not? Yeah, I ain't gonna put me in that situation. First of all, yeah, I didn't... Honest. First of all... Hang on, just a minute. Just a minute. You just a minute. You 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 not have no no listen, listen. Isn't it interesting? You started this. You have sex with a vulnerable girl. This is a vulnerable young woman. My whole point is, is that you say, we need to do the... I'm not happy with the scene. We need to do it over and over again, OK? And I, I, I'm sorry, at this moment, I'm going to believe her word over yours, because... I, OK? Saying, but ahead. you yeah. used... You used her. And you used this young woman. You used this woman who bore your children. You used two women. Don't you dare allow them to argue. If you were a man, you'd stand up here and you'd say... <laughs> I mean, first of all, I never used her for anything. Okay, what? I didn't hold a gun to her head and tell her to come shoot a scene with me. She volunteered to do this, just like any other woman volunteer. I never, I never made her do anything she wanted to do. Let me tell you something, okay? As a man, I made a mistake. I admit that to my wife. I admitted my wrongdoings. Mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. I'm human. Mm -hmm. You can judge me, crucify mm -hmm. me, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm human. Yeah. I'm human, <laughs> just like anybody else. Judge, judge. Okay, I make mistakes. I hate but you. one thing, I made a mistake like a man. Okay, yeah. I make it. I own up to her, I take care okay. of my children. And you're still in love with her? Still in love with who? <laughs> and with Ebony? Tomorrow, I want you to wear something Good. sexy for me when we make love. Okay. I love you. And let me correct After that. After I drop uh, the let kids me off. Let me correct that love thing. Number one, that was a lust thing. It wasn't love, it was a lust. I used the wrong L word to describe the situation. It was a lust thing. So it wasn't many love. Times you used it the wasn't wrong love. L word it wasn't all love. Because it was not love. Okay. That's not love. What are you going to do? You're going to stick by your man? <laughs> I have a lot of life. A lot of thinking to do. And Ebony, I really hope that the same thing isn't done to you again because you know the thing about people when they're vulnerable, mm -hmm. it's like blood in the water. The sharks come sniffing, my darling. So please, you know, talk with our counselor about how you can strengthen up because you've got to be a strong role model for your little girl. Mm -hmm. Thank you, All right.
in denial. You don't even look nothing like me. Look at that picture, man. Today on Trisha. I want to thank you for watching today. Come back and join me again real soon. Yes? Yes! Yeah. Yeah.